Hey guys, what's up? I am here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Fruits Basket Season 2 on Episode 7, or you could call it um, Episode 32 overall, the way I look at it. Yeah, total number Episode 32 or Episode 7 of Season 2. Anyways, this episode right here was actually pretty nice, and we get to know a little bit of what's going on with, like, um, some of our characters, and of course seeing... A couple scenes after that kind of got me concerned and worried. Not to mention what the heck is going on. Though, like um, we w although like um, the situation has yet to reveal itself. Guess we're about to find out soon enough, right? Well, we'll see. Anyways, the opening scene, the opening scene of this episode, um, we have to it that it does show Akito at the beginning of this episode seeing Yuki with Kureno. And that kind of got me concerned a bit and was whispering something into his ear. Although we go to a scene switch after the opening of Season 2 where Hiro is about to have a little sibling. Where his mother is pregnant which he thought she was sick or cold but she is um pregnant. Hiro's mother is pregnant and <laughs> I go like oh yay this ought to be fun. I guess we'll have to see though. <laughs> Aside from that, we do see Shigure showing up and then everything else all together, but it was kind of troubling in a certain in a certain case that is to come, but we also see to it that um, Shigure was about to have some jokes and manner with Toru, and he makes some kind of like going, oh, I do like your swimsuits here and there, and this causes Hiro to grab, um, um, oh man, what the hell is wrong with me, oh man. <laughs> Grab his love interest's hand and goes off, you know? I mean... Kisa-san, Kisa! What the hell's wrong with me? Damn! <laughs> okay. She went to go... Hiro grabbed Kisa's hand and goes like, You know what? I can't deal with your butt anymore. And eventually he was about to go on a date with Toru, which he says in a joking manner. But freaking Yuki and Kyo were so ticked off, you know? What a hilarious thing. And we see to it that... Um, Momoji and everyone else went went upstairs to the house to go play with watermelons, you know. Mo Momo-chan, or should I say, um, Hatsuharu-san. Hatu Hatu Haru I don't know why I call him Momo-chan. What the f is wrong with me? Anyways, Hatsuharu decides to cry, chop the watermelon or something. It was kind of hilarious. Of course, Toru did mention about like talking about playing watermelon with her mother, but he did she didn't talk about her mother at all because she thinks she might offend her offend anyone, and we see to it that Hiro's like, oh man, what I said to her really did have an, uh, did have a, did have a impact on her, and eventually she tries to hit a watermelon with her hand, but it doesn't work, and she ends up, oh, this doesn't work, and Kisa's like, yay, let me help out with celebrating that Hiro's mother is also pregnant with another kid, you know, that kind of thing, and I'm like, oh my gosh, dude, you guys are so hilarious. But we see too that Momoji, um, Hiro-kun, Hiro and Kisa-chan are like asleep in the house. And we have too that Yuki and Hatsuharu end up having a small talk with each other. Seeing how to have a small talk with each other, you know. Eventually, Yuki does see Kyo with like um, Toru talking to her a bit. And he seems to be disturbed by this and he decides to leave and go take a walk. Which is which maybe imply that he might be a little jealous, or he just can't really like um, what you call it, handle the fact of with kill around, you know. I mean, we did we've been seeing this stupid an antagonistic relationship with Kill and Yuki for a very long time, you know. And let's all be honest with the I'll be honest with you, it does come and go as annoying, but you know I think it's understandable. Hopefully, more gets revealed. But we see a scene with Kyo having to talk to Toru like, you know, what I'm annoyed about is that you're not talking about your mother or something, you're trying to be considerate, it kind of annoys me a bit, you know, it's okay to talk about your mother, it's something what Hiro said or something, it kind of throws me off a bit. Um, we have to it that Toru, knowing that she got a little lecture lesson from Kyo, you know, she does ask him, would you mind telling me about your parents, you know? And this, I thought Kyo may not want to talk about it, you know. I mean, it's already shown in the get-go about what his father is, you know. He ends up saying that his biological estranged father, he hasn't seen him for years, you know. And he ends up having to say, like, um, his mother, Kit. But he ends up having to, like, um, 
stop mid-sentence about his mother and changes up by saying, my mother was killed in an accident, especially when I was four or five years old, you know? Which is something that, um, I don't really know what was behind that, but one thing was sure, I just got this nasty feeling once it's revealed, you know, it's gonna break my heart, maybe. I mean, like, um, <sighs> kill, kill Chan or kill Kun, you're my best boy, man, I love you very much, Doc, you know that. I mean, like, um, all you guys know that, knowing that I made that video many, many last year ago about how much I love kill. I mean, call me Crazy Milanakis, but that's just me. But... You know, Kyo did mention that his mother died in an accident, but when he started mint sentence about his mother, which I think I know what the what happened to her, which he's hitting hiding it in a discreet manner as best he can. But aside from that, we had to that Shigure was about to get a very bad Possibly funny stabbing of a scalpel from Hattori saying like you brought Akito here didn't you or something you should stop doing these schemes whatsoever but Hattori but as Hattori tells Shigure but Shigure is like listen if I don't do this I won't be able to get what I want let's all be honest Shigure has always been this mysterious kind of person that wants to go after something you know and he wants to make it a reality because you know whatever the case may be um I wish him the best. But aside from that, um, we had to it that Shigure does go back to the house and has Kisa, Momoji, Hiro, and Hatsuharu Khan Chan um, to go visit Akito, you know? Of course, like, um, they're all kind of concerned and worried right now, and Kyo's not invited, obviously, from the get go because you know how sh is in tradition and how the stories went when it was told in the first season, you know, that kind of thing. And, you know, they decide to go visit Akito, you know. And, of course, Kisa-chan is actually worried right now, holding Hiro-kun's hand. And it's like, what do I do, you know? I mean, he's not gonna hurt, um, he's not gonna, that person, I mean, okay, I don't know why I said he, but a lot of people told me it's the other, other thing, which I don't really know myself. It's not really, um, shown to me explicitly so until then Kisa is worried about Akito having to hurt Toru you know like um is that person gonna hit Toru or something that kind of thing as it gives her a little traumatizing time what happened to her back then you know because we all know how Akito is or it's shown of what Akito is and eventually you know we have to it that Kyo will end up having some pancakes with Toru that she decides to bake up and make, you know? Of course, um, as the episode continues on, we get to see um, Hattori and Shigure having to visit Akito, and Akito tells Kureno, okay, you may leave. You don't have to see anybody, you know? And it looks like to me, Kureno is like this obedient kind of like tool the way I look at it. I mean, it's sad and pitiful at the same time the way it is shown and how I'm looking at it, you know? I mean, I can't be the only one feeling that way. Come on now. But, aside from that, um, Akito mentions that she, that, that he or she saw Yuki, you know? And ends up saying Yuki should just come back to me, you know? Even I have some usefulness with a useless tool like him. I'm thinking my mind, I think you're getting very deluded, you know. Even, it's kind of ironic in a certain way. And we see too that Akito, after talking with Hattori and Shigure, we had too that Shigure is really surprised to see Hattori not scolding him or saying something to him that could that could criticize him, you know. But we see to it that Hattori says, nah, I'm not going to be doing that kind of thing, you know, that kind of stuff. But, as the episode continues on in a certain way, um... We have to it that Akito finally sees Hatsuharu san along with um, Hiro kun, Kisa chan, and Momoji chan or Momoji kun and says, Hey everybody, how y'all doing? I'm glad y'all came. I love you all. I'm thinking about my, yeah, right, F you. <laughs> Talk about a way of me controlling my mouth, right? Okay, enough cringy, cringy stuff aside. 
We have to it that Toru is really concerned about everybody, and Kyo's like, you know what, let's just fry up the rest and eat the rest. How's that sound? And Toru's like, no, no, no. I mean, she decides to go out for a walk and ends up thinking about like how she only met Akito in April, you know? And of course, she remembers how Yuki was really, really frightened or terrified the moment that person showed up to him. Eventually, Toru ends up seeing Yuki at the beach, and they end up having a little small talk, having to meet Akito, and Yuki saying, open up the lid, and he thanks Toru for accepting his weakness and thinking in his mind, thank you for remembering that moment when he actually helped Toru-chan when she was young that she got lost, you know, that kind of thing. And, yeah, we all knew, it was. it's already confirmed that Yuki is the one that helped Toru that time, and remembers that time of how... He was always saved by her almost every single time, you know? And it really break and he and he ends up breaking down when he ends up seeing a shooting star with her and says like, um, thank you so much, you know, thank you so so much and then he ends up saying, You're so dear to me and ends up putting his mouth he possibly might have kissed Toto on the head, but I don't know if it's really explicit or not, but he does say that he is that she is very dear to him kind of thing. And we have to it that he ends up having a teardrop coming out of his face, and we see to it that next episode title is called "Well, It's True," and the episode ends off there, etc. That's the preview of next episode. That is, and you know, like um, I really don't know what's really bound to happen, but. For Pete's sakes, I'm really glad Akito didn't go to that house because otherwise I would have been concerned as hell. I mean, <clears throat> call me crazy Milanakas and I'm in only, I'm in, <clears throat> I am only an anime only watcher about, about this series, you know? And we, uh, I don't really know what's really going to happen next, but really though, I really hope Akito doesn't see Toru again because I just got this nasty gut in my feeling that this person could hurt Toru very badly physically, and things could get very ugly. I don't know what kind of ugly you guys might be thinking or what I'd be thinking right now, but I'll leave it to you guys as guess. Anyways, um, yeah, I mean, overall episode, you know, funny watermelon splitting and hero celebrate hero, everyone celebrating hero's mother getting pregnant and having a kid, you know. Another kid, if anything, and, you know, Akito having to show up, speak to Yuki for a bit, and we'll later on see the see Momoji-chan, Hirokun, Kisa-chan, and Hatsuharu-chan toward, almost towards the end of the episode after talking to Hatori and Shigure for a bit. And, you know, Shigure is doing his scheming thing or something, whatever he's trying to get after, you know. If it's something involving Toru or something, then I'm really concerned as hell knowing that I don't know where to begin or how to take it. <laughs> Call me Crazy Milanakis for thinking that way, but the way how it's going about, it's already concerning. I can't be the only one, okay? And Kill, you know? I mean, his parents, we, we kind of already know that he has a strange relationship with his father that he hasn't seen for years. I mean, that's for sure. And you know about his mother, I mean, he stopped mid-sentence possibly involving about his mother, you know, might have just done something to, well, I'm not, I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But he did say that she died in an accident when he was four or five years old, pretty much a child's age in a certain way. But we have yet to actually see that in the explicit manner. And you know, of course, showing the scene again with Yuki and Toru-chan. And you know, Yuki being that boy, having to save Toru, and he felt that time that he was saved by Toru, saying that he's needed, you know? Compared to Akito, that always telling Yuki that, you're not needed, you're deluded in this black, gray world. I'm like, what the f***, man? But, whatever the case may be, um... Looking forward to the next episode, and hopefully things will still be okay. I mean, I still don't see Kagura-chan, and I miss her so much. And I know you guys might be thinking, Dude, you always speak of her all the time. What's with you? Excuse me, you know the voice actor that dick Kagura-chan or Kagura? I miss her a lot, okay? She is one that... Okay, I think I'm just gonna stop there. <laughs> Until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video, so, alright?
and stay safe, you know, with what's going on here. I've been doing research that things are looking good, but I don't know about that entirely. But anyway, stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot!